Okay, I just want to describe how the board is used. Uh, we try to make it as user-friendly as possible. As you can see, each switch is color-coordinated. The ones in closest proximity to the LEDs are the ones it, it, uh, it applies to. For example, here are the yellow LEDs. This switch toggles it. The red one, it could turn it off and on. Um, the center ones, it could either go straight, left, or right. So a different switch, you could turn off the center. It will continue going straight, left, and right. And uh, the same one for this one. So we're just going to go ahead and present our project. Damn, it's hard for me to see what it is. Here you go, so follow the black line until it gets to the first intersection. And it's a turn, it should turn left. And so continue following the black line again to the next intersection. Here it should go straight because. Because you're using. Hey, can we do yeah, it? Because we're using light sensors, light. Wow, bro. Because we're using light sensors, light. Does mess it up. I'm gonna go ahead and start it here. Take it out of the corner there. I don't know why I'm doing that. Here, this is the center one. It should go straight. If it makes this turn, here it would turn left into the board. Play. I don't know why I'm doing that. It was working properly as you saw in the videos. Why isn't it turning the corners? Put it in another corner. And it should go around the track until someone stops it. Or until it falls off the track, which it usually didn't do. But there you go, that's our project. Working prop almost. Like we said, 95%. <laughs> I don't know why I think it turn, it usually did. But as you can see, it does turn at all the intersections with the LEDs. It just doesn't make those left and right corner turns. The jitteriness, the shaking, is because it's reading the edge of the signal. Um, depending how aligned it is. Put it on the other corner. Depending how aligned it is, it works properly, it works better. And like I said, the alignment is very critical. It has to, the photo resistors have to go over that line, the LED, almost like within a few centimeters. And the jitteriness is what makes it knock off, and that's it reading the line. And there you go, it's our project. Wow. <laughs>